Hey guys, when I'm not a nurse, I'm a home improver. Oh my gosh, I just finished four days. My house smelled like a dead person when I walked in and, uh, and the dishes were done, so that was really strange. Um, my husband, who's been sleeping out in his office, is like, I miss you so much. And I'm like, yeah, I bet you do. I'll get right on it. So anyway, uh, so this video, because it's a global pandemic, I figured why not make a name for myself right now? <laughs> this video, because uh, I care so much, I can't, I can't stand like that for too long. Um, have you ever wondered how to patch a hole in your wall? A nail hole, by the way, because my other hole patching um, adventures are pretty rough. My husband's really good at it, so maybe he can show us one of these days, but again, I feel like I'm looking here, I'm looking there, I don't know. Anyway, okay, super easy, I'm gonna show you how to do it. First of all, you need something like that, okay? I'm using this dry Dex because it was pink. That was the only reason. And Home Depot, it was cheaper, I guess. I don't even remember. It wouldn't have mattered. It was pink. It turns to white when it's dry, unless you don't close it right, in which case, it's not really pink. <laughs> it's more like not even, well, <laughs> it is spring in the Northwest. So it's my flesh tone color. So anyway, it doesn't really dry and turn white, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it, okay? All right, you got a hole, a hole. Well, you got some of those, but also you got a lot of nail holes in your wall and you want to patch them, okay? This is my entryway. I'm working on this right now. And I'm gonna just show you, I haven't gotten any better. Um, you're gonna take a little bit of that stuff, that uh, spackling, and you're gonna put it on your finger. Why your finger, you ask? Because I think it's stupid to try and do it with anything else because it's just too ungainly and difficult to manipulate. So literally, I rub it on there. What, more? Look at those holes just disappear. Wait, let me get more on there. Done, done. Do I care about all this crap that's falling on the ground? Clearly I do not. The beautiful thing is that it will dry and then you can vacuum it up. So here's more. Ooh, that was a lot though. I, don't, I still don't care. Uh, okay, so once I do this whole wall, then I'll show you step number two, okay? All right, so that is that whole wall. There were a lot of nail holes. <laughs> I, do, I do a lot of gallery walls, as many of you know. Um, sometimes with a really big one, I will, I'll have to do, do a little, then I'll have to come back, do a little bit more. All right, I'm about to go on a bike ride, but I'm gonna do the next step of the wall. All right, here it is. Hold on. So I've got my whole wall. I've got all the walls actually in here, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to take a wet, I really like these chamois, and I'm just going to wash the excess. I know that looks terrible. Here, hold on. Let me back it up. Hold on. All right. Okay, hold on. So you're going to wipe the wall clean. And that way, what you're getting is you're getting um, you're getting like the flatness that you can uh, pick up when you put putty in a wall. You know what I'm saying? Um, like those flat marks when you paint, and they're kind of shiny, but you've still filled the holes, so uh, you don't lose the texture. I guess is what I'm saying. So anyway. That's all you have to do. It's like the freaking easiest thing. My husband came in though and he's like, so, uh, you know, if you, like make sure that when you uh, do it that you, and I was like, yeah, I'm not an idiot, but I love him. <laughs> he knows way more about this stuff than I do. Oh, that is a, it's a bad angle. Okay. I mean, right? It's pretty crazy. I have not had a working doorbell in 10 years. It's a real problem. Well, I hope this helped you out. You can do some uh, patching. And look, I mean, honestly, like you can't even, I mean, you know what? I bet, like, I bet he did that. Sheesh, thinks he knows everything. All right, so after you filled in your nail holes, then all you gotta do is 
paint out your trim. I like to do some fun stuff. Uh, those turned that turned out great. I painted my doorbell thing. I got some uh, whatever. I don't even care what it is. I mean, honestly, you could use like um, measuring sticks, you know, yard sticks, things like that. That's that peel and stick wallpaper I got from Target, and it's like a total wall transformation. So um, I'm just gonna continue on to the rest of the wall. Right over here, we're gonna see it getting done there. Oh, and I did a little light switch there out of washi tape. That's a lot of fun. Look at that. I did paint the um, those. Somebody's gonna tell me I shouldn't do that. Hey, and then I'm gonna tell them, I don't care. What? Hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. I don't know what that means.